Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Mina Masood has been vindicated. Uh, this is the guy who uh, played Aladdin who got chased off of Twitter for daring to say The Little Mermaid wasn't going to break a billion dollars. Yes. Uh, he's 100% right. Scott Mendelson from Forbes is actually backing him up. And look, numbers aren't racist. This has nothing to do with racism. Oh my God. I'm tired of everything. You, I didn't get my way. It's racism. No, it's reality. I'm sorry. Well, Twitter is now claiming that uh, claiming the numbers are racist. That doesn't well, they claim math's racist. So what do you expect? <laughs> that doesn't explain Spider-Verse doing as well as it's done. So we're going to talk about this because this was ridiculous. All he did was guesstimate what he thought the movie was going to do. Again, this is a, a, a live action Disney remake without the star power of Will Smith after the pandemic. And of course, you know, overseas audiences being what they are now, you know, in some countries not really taken to it. A lot of people not liking it for other I reasons. I think besides people didn't like it because they're tired of live action remakes. Live action remakes. I yeah. wouldn't saw it. It wasn't, it was, one of, the, it was one of the better live action remakes. I'm going to, I'm going to be upfront and say that. There were some things I didn't like about it. They made changes. And there were some other things I thought worked pretty well. And I thought Halle Bailey does a really good job as Ariel. She sounds like her. She sings like her. Some of the new songs, like Prince Eric's new song sucked. I hate it. It doesn't fit. It just hurts me to hear it because it just doesn't work. Um, but then Ariel has a new song where she's, that one where we're talking about how she is thinking it in her head. Really, really cute song. And I really liked it and it worked very well. So, you know, there's some highs and lows, but it wasn't a bad movie. I, I thought it wasn't too terrible. That being said, numbers are numbers. They're not racist. They are, they're just, they are what they are. And he was right. Scott Mendelson, of all people, backing him up. And he's getting all kinds of crap on Twitter for it. But again, you know, he writes for Forbes. That's a financial website, a financial mm -hmm. magazine. And we're talking about numbers. So let's talk about the numbers before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Again, uh, Geeky broke down, took our daughter to go see the movie. Well, she you... wanted to see it with her friend. Yeah. So I took him. And like I said, it, it was one of the better live action remakes for what they are. Again, I don't think, I, I personally don't think we should have any of the live action remakes because I, I think they're stupid. But it's one of the better ones. I mean, they made some choices like now there's a queen and Eric ah, Eric is Eric, Eric is adopted. And they, they act like that's going to be a big plot point, but then it never becomes a plot point. That's weird. and goes nowhere. Under the Sea. How can you have a hot crustacean band with no, none of the animals and the fish playing instruments and it's all just like weird dance numbers with under the sea thing creatures and not no musical instruments? There are some definite choices that I thought were, were lame, but yeah. there were some other things that weren't too terrible. But again, it wasn't it wasn't that bad, and but it wasn't like the bestest thing ever either. There's a lot of other movies that are much better, but it wasn't like the worst stuff I've ever seen. It was one of the better ones. It was it was an entertainment product by current year Disney. Yes, basically. Yeah. And you could see that they are deliberately, like we saw that guy in that interview who's in charge of this stuff, deliberately making changes to to modern audience yeah. the hell out of it. And 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 some work and some don't. Actually, my daughter and her friend, who would be the target demographic, they were like, eh. 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 So everybody was running with this, like, oh my gosh, Mina Masood. I think it's Mina Masood. Pardon, pardon me if I'm mispronouncing his name. I think it's Mina Masood. Uh, Mina Masood's running with with uh, this hateful narrative. You know, the brown man is is being a racist, but that's not it. He said, this is all he said. Again, very benign. This is just like the Nick Merck situation where he made a, he said a very benign thing that was blown way the hell out of proportion. He said our film was unique in that audiences went to watch it multiple times. It's the only way we reach the billion dollar mark with our opening. My guess is The Little Mermaid doesn't cross the billion dollar mark, but will undoubtedly get a sequel. The thing is, though, none of the other live actions really have gotten a sequel, have they? Uh, just Alice in Wonderland and Well, yeah, those, were kind of their, those are the kind of own things. And the second Maleficent movie sucked. Yeah. But they kind of they were they were live action remakes, but both of those were instances where they took and made a whole new story. Yeah. It wasn't like what we've seen lately where it's just a rehash of the same stuff. And the Maleficent three is coming, and I don't know why the hell you're doing Maleficent three. Hey, the second one was a bomb. Um, you know, I, yeah, it's got to be a contractual thing. I, I don't no know. Idea. I mean, you're right; those two did, but you know, and, and people people in the comments were like, "It's a win because you know they're talking about him, but his movie it didn't even get a sequel. Most of them didn't." Actually, in the case of Aladdin, they had okay. So Little Mermaid had two direct-to-video sequels. Both of them were dog well, shit. I'm talking about live action. The live action yeah. didn't get a sequel. But they could, they could, they could actually turn those into live action. I, I was gonna say, in the case of Aladdin, 
it had two direct-to-video sequels and they weren't completely terrible. Uh, but the mermaid ones were not good. The one she had a daughter and that was just like a rehash of the first movie just in reverse. And then you had the prequel, which I thought was very, very slow. You know, it was just like, what the hell is going on here? Um, but the, Michael Eisner. Yeah. Yeah. And, and look, if I had to choose, and I've said this multiple times, if I had to choose, I would take Eisner over Iger. Oh, anyway. yeah, I agree. You know, at least. This is, I, I, this is Iger's version of, you know. Direct to video. Yeah, it's, but yeah. except he's doing live action remakes. And they're not doing well. And this movie is not looking like it's going to do well either. And people are having a hissy. I, I posted what Scott Mendelson said. I said, oh, he's not wrong. This one person's like, well, it's a 400 and some or whatever. 500 million global. And it could hit like 600 and some. And I'm like, yes, but it's going to have to do way more than that to be a success. People don't seem to understand that just the budget isn't enough. It's the budget. It's the marketing. Yeah. Theaters take their cut. Yes. That's, they give you this number, but that's before theaters get paid. Yeah. People don't understand that. That's like people look at, you know, total revenue for companies and they forget taxes. Yes. They forget overhead. Like, wow. They sh well, okay. Or case crowdfunders. Of, yeah, crowdfunders. Like we were talking about comic books yesterday and people look at the total revenue that a company brings in and they're like, well, we should be making more because they're making more. Not realizing that a company can make $5 million, but took them $4.5 million to get to the $5 million right. mark. And then they have to pay taxes out of the revenue. Mm -hmm. So they might actually be in the hole. Right. You know? but you I know. mean, I'm just saying, like people don't understand. Again, that's math. The math is racist. Math is racist. So this is coming from Scott Mendelson. Scott Mendelson writes for Forbes. Again, Forbes is all about numbers and uh, people are bringing this up. But we're going to show some of the responses. But he said... Hashtag the Little Mermaid, because he's doing it just to troll people. Hashtag the Little Mermaid has earned another 53 million worldwide for a new $414 million total. It should end with around 525 million global, including 275 to 300 million domestic. That's not even going to break even. No. Once again, yeah. Yeah. Once again, Mina Masood was right. Right. It's not even going to break even because, like, you figure their budget, they some are estimating around 300. Something like that by the time it's all said and done, maybe more. Yeah. And then you have to figure their marketing on this thing. Their marketing has been ridiculous. They have they have shoved this everywhere. And then you have, you know, other expenses related to it, other expenses for taking it overseas and the marketing over there. Yeah. Then you have, you know, again, the theater's cuts. You have to make at least like, I think with this one, at least six hundred to seven hundred thousand probably to break even. So, so yeah, and that's that's what people have been saying. They said that's it. That's conservatively speaking, this is a very expensive movie overall, and not, you know all the money they put into the marketing and everything. Scott Mendelson, um, this person says, "Hey, I'm confused. Isn't this good, a good box office? It cost 250, and way too many people automatically thought it would be a surefire billion dollar plus grosser." Masood was literally chased off of Twitter merely for arguing that wasn't a foregone conclusion, and here they come to dismiss that no. Not only were his comments rooted in anti-blackness. How are they rooted in anti-blackness? He's not He's white. He's basically fucking saying this movie is probably, it has to do a billion, but it's going to be harder yeah. to sell. Wait, wait. He also said that the, the reasons that their movie made a million dollars is because they had Will Smith. Last time I checked, Will Smith was black. Yes. Yes. And Will Smith was the biggest draw at the time. It was pre-slap Will Smith. Right. He was white people would see because he was playing Genie. And he's a funny Your argument guy. is invalid. Your argument is invalid, Valerie. Um, so, yeah, the reason the film hasn't hit a billion is because of anti-blackness. Like, why are these aspects constantly dismissed in these financial discussions? It's anti-blackness, not people questioning why the fuck you race been a character. Yeah, Even right. though, again, Halle Bailey is Ariel. She sounds like her. She she looks like her. I mean, not in the fact that she looks exactly like her because she's not white it was red hair but even when she's a human her hair is much more red she actually you actually could believe that she's ariel uh mendelson says it was never going to hit a billion it didn't have anything new to offer beyond same yes, movie but live action exactly i was expecting around 700 million so 550 isn't that far it off. is uh, pretty far off i wasn't uh, expecting 700 honestly uh, no um nothing new besides new version of ariel also but that's not Nothing new, but they race fucking that Ariel. That's your argument. What new thing did Aladdin have? Well, here, this person. Will Smith as the genie. Literally, that's it. And people went because everybody loved Will Smith at the time. He was 100% the best part of the movie. Otherwise, it was a pretty bad remake compared Probably to true. The Mermaid. I would agree. I, I, don't, I haven't I've seen, never it seen it My I've daughter seen has. She does not like it. She's like, eh. Uh, right about what exactly the Aladdin earned more because where's the announcement for the sequel? There's not. They usually don't get sequels. This is, you know. 
Well, Mendelssohn said the it'll get a sequel bit at the end was just him being nice. We've seen very few outright sequels to these live action revamps. Exactly. Again, they're the ones that take it in a different direction. But in the case of Aladdin, it can be argued, and they're not going to do it now because of Will Smith probably, but it can be argued that they had two direct-to-video sequels they could mine. No, no, the it'll get a sequel is him being spiteful to a black lead. Bullshit. If Aladdin got a sequel, Genie was Will Smith. He was actually, let's be honest here, Will Smith was the lead, Genie was the lead in Aladdin. I'm sure that was made so he would be because he wouldn't have done it otherwise. Your argument is invalid. We've got a brown guy... He was in a movie with a black guy, probably one of the highest paid black actors of all time. And again, he was the biggest draw. <laughs> you are so stupid. They are stupid. Sorry. No, he made 400 million two weeks. That's four weeks to go. It seems like more than 800 million. You people, you don't like math because you can't do math. <laughs> Let's be honest here. It's not racist. It's because you're stupid. Well, Mina can't get booked while Hallie has three movies coming out. Who so cares? that means that the Blue Mermaid but the, the, made the, more the, money. Your arguments don't, aren't, aren't part. The, your arguments are stupid. Her having other movie deals has nothing to do with how the Little Mermaid performs. Any other person might have a movie that doesn't do well, but they might have three other movies in the works. They're not reflective of another. They're, they're mutually exclusive. These people are just downright fucking stupid. This shows you the 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 level of you know, I hate to use the term cope, but that's the level of it. And the thing is, it's just not going to do the well. I'm sorry. You know, it might do better when it's out on DVD. And that's possible. Because it really isn't that bad of a movie. I'd watch it again. Disney and that, Plus. for me, for me, that's saying something. If I say I watch it again, I mean, I, I'm not saying where I'd rank it if I watched it again. But I didn't think it was terrible. I liked it better than my daughter and her friend. And, I, yeah, and, and I'm, the, I'm the representation that got replaced. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. Saw what publication you write for in the bio, and they have a history of racism and oh, anti-blackness in the newsroom. So your comments aren't surprising, and you're ignoring others bringing up the anti-blackness in Masood's original statement. No, it isn't. So you guys are looking for things he pissed about. Will that Smith. That aren't there. Will Smith was basically the lead in Aladdin. People came for Will Smith. You can say, oh, my God, are they going to go down this road like they had the uh, guy played Carlton? Well, you're basically just a white guy. Well, that, no, that, that's what they do. <laughs> because they, the mental gymnastics necessary to think that he was being anti-black. The whole thing is because you guys all – Disney did exactly what Disney did. All they did was swap out – Ariel for a black woman. That's all I did. They race bent Ariel. And for some reason, now that she's race bent, it's above all, you know, you can't, you can't criticize it. You can't do anything. Any legit criticisms is because you hate black people. It's stupid. It's Disney's playing you like a fiddle. They did it on purpose yes. for that exact fucking reason. Yes. And you're buying into it. Yes. Thing is, there are a lot of people who aren't white who also thought it was cheap ass and they wanted, they didn't want to hand me down characters. So ask Ask some of their other black actresses how it goes as soon as you st you you talk out of turn. Uh, what about the girl that played uh, Ursula's daughter and descendant? She was saying something about vaccines and they oh, basically Oh, yeah, just... China McLean. Yeah, and she was like a huge Disney star. And then as soon as she spoke out of turn about uh, COVID, she disappeared, didn't she? Well, I was thinking she... too, like, um, you know, Zoe Saldana. She was you know, defending Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt because yeah. she knows him. And people, the people that were telling, the ones that were saying that, you know, about how, how being aesthophobic is bad, were the ones calling her such horrible slang terms for black people. I will never repeat them. I would never use them myself, ever. And they were calling her that. And this is supposed to be the people that are on, that are on the side calling everybody aesthophobic. You know, these are supposed to be the, the heroes. And because they didn't get, she didn't do what they wanted her to do, didn't say what they wanted her to say. They started calling her worse things than the people they were making accusations against, you know, were even using. Ask uh, Letitia Wright. Remember when Letitia Wright was the darling? Remember when oh, yeah. she could do no wrong because she was Shuri and Shuri was the bestest character ever and everybody loved Letitia Wright until, oh, no, she's got a conservative streak in her and yeah, she's anti-vax. Yeah, they found out that, uh -oh. they found that, that wasn't, none of the stuff they said actually happened. It didn't actually Like happen. they said when it came to the movie that none of that stuff was, you know. Oh, speaking of crap, I think Triton was like one of the worst parts of the whole damn movie. A no boring. offense, guy. You can't act wear a paper bag. And the you, you were like just unlikable. Like at least Triton in the animated, you could tell like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I have remorse. No, he was just a fucking asshole the whole time. There was nothing likable about Triton at all. So this is, so the, yeah, this is just, oh God, this is insane though. Yeah, the problem with Mina Masood was not discussion about the numbers. It was anti-blackness. Where? The he didn't say anything that was anti-black. Will Smith was the lead. He, was he the just dog. said, he I don't think him. this movie is going to do a billion dollars. 
universe, but it'll probably get a sequel. That's literally all he said. Not one fucking thing in that was anti-black, and I'm tired of hearing this. If you don't like our movie, it's a literal remake of an animated movie. All the remakes have been kind of shit and do done well. It landed with a thud. Some, yeah, some places it probably was because of racism. But for most people, it had nothing to do with it. And you're like anti-blackness. It's like you're full of shit. That comment had nothing to do with that. You're just full of shit. So now they're trying to they're trying to bend it. God, like you said, this is this is like some severe cope here. Now they're like, well, he's not getting jobs, so you have to dismiss everything he says. No, he was right, and um, the the issue isn't. No, know, they're mad because he was right. He was right. And they're trying to spin it as, as, as uh, again, just what, Disney, you get what you get. They're just trying to spin it again that you, if you don't agree, you're anti-black. Well, I'm sorry. That's what the numbers say. You know what you could have done? You could have gone and seen it multiple times. He admitted. It wasn't like a whole lot of people came to the movie. It was that they saw it multiple times. You could have done the same damn thing. Go see it 10 times in a row. Yeah, go see it. All 10 of you. You know, it's, yeah. Spider-Verse didn't, didn't come out a week later. Promised you it'd be about 800 million. No, it's, I don't even think it's the same audience. I don't think it's the same audience. Well, but for but, but if racism, anti-blackness is the reason why the Spider Verse do so well. Uh, but people aren't people aren't saying, "Hey, isn't it awesome that we have two like big temple franchises?" That's what I said. A yes. week or two apart, that That's have the black win. leads. No, it's now we gotta be like, well, if it wasn't for that stupid Spider Verse movie, right? It's a win for you for you for all your arguments about how you're being kept down. That was a win. A win. And even Transformers. Um, the new one, it's Black Leads. You know what? Again, a win. I don't understand what your problem is. It didn't do a billion dollars. I'm fucking sorry. Had nothing to do with racism. It was just, I don't think it's going to do a billion dollars. It didn't. It's not likely to do a billion dollars. It is what it is. I am sorry. It's, people are tired of live action remakes. I think at the end of it, that's mostly why it didn't do well. God, this is insane. This is just like, yeah. Hope harder. You're full of shit. I, you know, it, it is what it is, guys. Numbers don't lie. I'm Look sorry. Stupid. I'm. It's Twitter. It's Twitter, and it's probably the same like five people with like fifty different all accounts. How much do you want to bet? And this is just me being incredibly cynical because I've been on Twitter entirely too long. How much you want to bet a lot of these people with these black avatars are actually like white women or white men? Well, interestingly enough, when I had reshared this, this one count, Haley is Ariel count or something like that came up and was like trying to argue with me. And I'm like, I went and looked. They had like 20 some followers. So there's a bunch of these accounts that just popped up like last year or in the last few months and are going around with like some Ariel Little Mermaid something going around every post anybody makes and trying to argue. That sounds to me like they're paid. And it sounds to me like you hired a firm, you know, to, to try to go do grassroots shit yeah. is what it sounds like to me. Yeah, you're paying for you're paying Elon for a blue check. You're paying Elon. Wait, captain of the Will Smith defense. That's funny. Um, but you're paying Elon for a blue check. How dare you? Uh, so maybe there, maybe this is supposed to be about uh, Will Smith getting vindicated here. I don't know. But the, the, the argument's the, stupid. The argument's stupid because it's not a white dude defending an all white cast. There were no it's white not, people in Elon. He's not even white. Yeah, it's like, come on, you know, so whatever. Numbers don't lie. Numbers aren't racist. I'm sorry. It is what it is. You don't have to like it, but there it is. Ironically, people about Aladdin were mad about the casting of Jasmine because they didn't think that she was, you know, enough like the like the character. And then they race bend Ariel and that's fine. That's yeah. the, 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 the irony. Her, her getting more work after the fact doesn't have any bearing to do with the numbers. And the fact... Oh, the, she's a good actress. I mean, you know, she can sing too. I mean, there's nothing that... That, that has nothing to do... One has nothing to do with the other. The, the point he's trying to make, even beyond the numbers, he wasn't trying to make this a pissing match. The point that Scott Mendelson was trying to make is you chase this guy off of Twitter... And he had the right take. But it's okay when they do it. It's not okay when people that don't like chase people off of Twitter. If, if, if it's Kelly Marie Tran or Moses Ingram or something like that, you're just a horrible racist troll. But when you do it to, to somebody else, you know, because you don't like them, it's acceptable. But the one person in the tweet was like, how is 400 and some million not a success? Math! It literally costs 250, 300, and possibly even more million dollars to make this movie. Yeah. Not counting the marketing budget, not counting all the stuff that the steps took to send it overseas, not counting any of that, not counting the take for the theaters. So you can have $415 million and be in the hole by a couple million or a couple hundred million dollars. I'm sorry, it's just yeah. math.
It's math. It's math, guys. And it's it's just, it is what it is. And this will pass too. And then heart. we'll move on to the next thing. Yeah, we'll move on to the next thing. Again, nobody's bringing Spider-Verse. They're like, well, Spider-Verse, you have beater. It's like, well, geez, isn't that problematic? You know? I know. I, th I think it's hilarious. And what they're mad about was because he's anti-black as he made a statement that proved true. <laughs> and even if it did 800, 900 million, which is not gonna. Yeah. Even if it did. That's still under a billion dollars. And he admitted that one of the reasons was we had a lot of people that came back and saw it repeatedly, which is probably why. But yeah. he's like, I don't think it's going to hit that high, not post-COVID, post-pandemic, because that his movie came out in 2019, but before before the box office shifts and everything else, and, too. And before... A lot of issues have changed. A lot of things have changed. Yeah, before Disney you know, started dumping all their movies on the Disney Plus. Before people I got mean, tired of Disney's bullshit, and they're, been, you know, they're just tired of live-action remakes. We've had several since. Yeah. Yep, so we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. There we go, guys. Oh, stupid. Uh, there we go, guys. It is what it is. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can tell my kick setting. Yeah, you can you can so you can Wait, tell. really it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's, it's bringing the decibels down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.